Uh, and your thoughts now as we see, you know, all of these swing states come in. Colorado, I mean, that was supposed to be one that was leaning Romney. Um, they all, I mean, there wasn't one that was in question, at least thus far, that went for Romney. And, and what, is that, what does that mean, Steve? Well, it, it is interesting. I mean, to go back to the conversation that we were having before, it suggests that the polling taken over this, you know, all of these many months was more accurate than it wasn't. And we, you saw, if you take Ohio, for instance, you go and look at the polling starting you know, from Election Day and go back to April and May, there were two or three polls, serious polls, where Mitt Romney surged into a lead and eventually ended up with President Obama winning all of the others. So I think this was a case where, where Mitt Romney you know, went to, he, he had ran a tough campaign. I think he ran a classy campaign by and large. He obviously had many people working for him uh, who devoted their lives to doing this, spent a lot of time doing nothing but this for the past year, and ultimately came up short. I would argue in part because his campaign wasn't, didn't provide enough of a contrast for voters. Well, let me follow up with you on that. You say he ran a classy campaign. And there's been so much talk about a negative campaign that was run by President Obama. And if you look at the ad buys and the tone of the ads, that's clear. But what does this mean for future elections? That we now have nothing but negativity? Because, ne you know, does that, it, it, did tonight prove that that works? You know, to, to, to try to be above board or classy, as you put it. It didn't pay dividends for Mitt Romney tonight. Well, look, I mean, I don't, I don't want to sound Pollyannish about it. Mitt Romney ran a tough campaign, too. I mean, he made plenty of difficult, tough attacks about, on President Obama, some of which you know, were questioned by fact checkers. So it was a tough campaign. But there's no question that, that President Obama's campaign, starting very early, before Mitt Romney was the Republican nominee, knew that they were going to try to run by being aggressively ideological, liberal, appealing to the base, and defining the Republican as extreme and out of touch. I think that's what they did. They did it early. They defined him. As Carl Cameron suggests, there will be second guessing about whether the Romney campaign should have responded earlier. But there's no question. I mean, it's inescapable that that worked in this instance. Kirsten. Yeah, well, Romney should have defined himself. I think that's the biggest mistake that they'll look back and realize. And, and remember, there was a lot of conversations about why is Obama spending all this money? And he, you know, he was actually running out of money for a little while. And it was because they just decided we're going to go in early on. We are just going to bombard people and define Mitt Romney, who's a blank slate, basically. And, and the other thing is you have to remember that right now in the United States, there are a few things that are less popular than sort of Wall Street people. People. Now, he's not a Wall Street person, but they convinced people that he kind of was. And so, so then Romney comes in and he has to sort of undo all of this when he comes into the debates and actually does a really good job. So I think that tactically that was a really, really bad mistake. And I, I think that they are great people on the campaign, but the, the Obama campaign tactically was a superior campaign. There's just no question in my mind that that's true. Let me just answer your big question first, because I, but I want to respond to this conversation, Megan. The big answer to your question is that Latino voters and black voters in bigger numbers turned out and fit the models that the polls had, did not fit the models that the Romney campaign had hoped for. And young voters and women voters came back again to fit the 08 model. The gender gap reappeared. Um, in all those ways, what we're seeing, I think, is a new kind of politics. Uh, you look back in American history, I think what has driven us for the la large measure, large part of the last part of the 20th century, was a blue-collar white vote. And that's what drove, I think, Republicans to win, go coming from 68 forward most of the time. I think we're in a new phase now that's going to be defined by the emergence specifically of that Latino vote and the kind of alienation that Republicans... Uh, demonstrated towards Latinos in terms of immigration reform did not pay off with them. You can talk with Jeb Bush, the former governor of Florida, about this. He just sees it as self-destructive and hurtful. And again, lack of outreach. Now, you, just let me just add in here, I don't think that the Romney people are, have totally clean hands here. I think just last week when they were saying that Jeep was going to send jobs to China, people said, you know, that's just not right. I think that makes a difference. And I think that, you know, when you look at the attacks that the Romney campaign had on President Obama, this was a hardball campaign. Mm -hmm. I mean, both sides were throwing dirt. The dirt that did stick, and I, this, this confirms your point, I think had to do with defining Romney early as that Bain guy 
But the question is, how does the Republican Party respond? Do they say, oh, you know what, we weren't conservative enough, or you know what, we're going to have to change the way we do business. Britt, when you look at the map, what we call the heat map, that's right behind me, and that's the different counties throughout uh, the country and where they stand, Republican or Democrat, uh, there is just a ton of red on that map. The blue are Democrats, the yellow, these are counties that are within 3%. Uh, percentage points. You talk about the the country and where it is, and what kind of campaign wins. And are we going to now be forever dealing with ten battleground states that we could just start at the beginning of a campaign and just <laughs> dump all kinds of money in ten battleground states and and that's it? Well, actually, the number of battleground states was twelve. A little, yeah, twelve was a little bit larger this time, but essentially, it's the same map that we've been looking at for a while. And I think you know the question that all of this leaves is: Could Mitt Romney, with a different campaign, have won this election? Given the conditions in the country, I think it's going to be it's pretty hard to say that this was not a winnable election for the challenger, for the Republican challenger. And I would look to the very things that my colleagues here have pointed out, which is they let the president define him. They left unanswered the attacks on him, really effectively answered on him into the Bain capitalist, if you will. Uh, and they let, it, they let that hang out there. And it left it all to him, the candidate to try to undo it all. And he went a long way toward doing that, when you think about it, in his performance in the first debate, more than any, more perhaps than the others. And he came pretty close. But in the end, it looks like he was kind of behind all the way. Uh, and, and he was never able to over... Now we're going to see the recriminations begin. Um, was the party too far right? Was the party too far left? The demographic factors that Juan pointed to are absolutely real. And the Republican Party is going to have to ask itself if the hardline position that Mitt Romney assuredly took during the primary season to try to win this election, the hardline law and order position on immigration, is in the long run a winning position for them. Karl Rove and George H.W. Bush never thought so, and others don't think so as well. And so when they're saying that, well, Mitt Romney wasn't conservative enough, as some certainly will say, you have to point to that issue as one that may be a, a short-term and a long-term loser for them politically. It looks now that this president will be reelected with fewer electoral votes than he won the first time. Right. The first president a historic first, ever right. yeah. to be reelected with fewer electoral votes than the, the well, first time. And probably a popular vote total that is very, very close. Uh, the split being very narrow which in will, the popular Which will vote. certainly add to the feeling among a lot of people that this was a winnable election. Right now it stands at 114,000. <laughs> separating the two candidates that's, in the popular that's vote. Unbelievable. That is smaller than the margin by which George W. Bush won Ohio in, the, in, the, in, in 2004. Barone and, and Rose were just with, talking. With, state. with right. Romney leading. With Romney leading in right. the popular vote. Yeah, right. in, fact, in fact, my yeah. prediction for this election was that President Obama, again, would win the battleground states, win the Electoral College vote, but he might lose. I thought he would lose the popular vote. And that tells you something about who we are. You say we're polarized. But I think, you know what, you look at that map behind you as you were describing it, Brett. A lot of that is, you know, very small population. You look at where the big populations are, where college educated, where the economy right. is growing. That's where the blue now, is. Now, if, if Mitt Romney were to win the popular vote, it'll be fun to see whether we have an outbreak of shoe on the other foot disease in which it is the Republicans <laughs> who have suddenly decided the way the Democrats did in 2000, this electoral college has got to go. go, go, go. And yeah. they, remember California yeah. was going to have a measure passed when, which yeah. meant yeah. That, they, that whoever won the popular vote nationally would get all California's but, electoral but, but, but Remember that the, the electoral college is never going to be given up by Republicans because small not, states I'm would I'm, say I'm, we're losing. It would be all quite right. a reversal from yeah. the earlier I'm position. Just saying. All right, coming up. Look at this. We're going to take a look at 